Hello and welcome to the DFS underscore PhD show for today, the 9th of August. Remember, you're good enough, you're strong enough. And gosh darn it, someone's got to win that money. Might as well be us. And hey, I did it in baseball yesterday. So the baseball show makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I almost took, uh, not quite took down, but I did take down a $96 qualifier. I like this little $1 to $96 thing. Nobody ever fills it. Presumably the guys who needed to fill it have their five tickets already. But anyway, I cashed last time in this one. And so I'm looking forward to it on Saturday or whatever. I'm trying to get another one tonight. As always, we are sponsored by Prediction Strike. You can use promo code PHD to get um, their best deposit match deals. And as always, check out before PP uh, pay-per-view events, they have the cool uh, UFC event. So I'm going to buy UFC guys anyway. And then you get to play the little like uh, make your own DFS thing that they have. So try that out. It's fun. Um, yeah, so I was doing a little contest review of the last similar size slate, which was the sixth when we had like 11 games or something. It's a lot of games. So I just wanted to make sure, see how efficient the pricing was. And, um, 49.8 negative SIM ROI, but a 5.3 stack. So the stacking is as you would expect. Um, but beyond that, 50K, 49.8, you can keep it pretty tight. Uh, there's a few up here. Everything is like 49.5 or above in this kind of a slate and so i think what i did what i decided to do was to do what was it settings wise 49.8 to start and then i'm gonna go 49.5 on swaps so that my final lineups will be in the range um i've made my ballpark pal adjustments slash i don't know yellow to orange i'm gonna pay attention so you should pay attention to as well uh, the weather so in colorado a little bit in washington a little bit in boston but those are those are more for pitchers. Um, and I guess let's see while I'm talking about it. Let me look at my pitchers. I have so I just run the contest sims and then we look at them together. And this is how I react to them. So you can kind of see what the contest sims say to do, and then my reaction, how I'm actually going to run it. Number one, I just don't believe in Jack Flaherty that much. There we go. Why did that change so much? So make sure, yeah, double check that you're sorting by what you want to. I think Jordan recommends the risk average ROI, but that's nonsense. Like I don't. It's literally not math. So I do the math one. So like I can com I can compute how they would do ROI. I don't know what was the other one. ROI plus like the the average of the variance. I don't know. That's kind of awesome, actually. Hmm. Why don't I just do it? You know, one time just to see. Maybe I win. Maybe the problem is me. It's definitely a possibility. I haven't won in baseball in like three years. Well, I mean, you know, what a couple hundred dollars, but not thousands. Since like my birthday and freaking and Joshua Tree, what was that 2020? Maybe even earlier, maybe 2019. Yeah, we're in the we're in the freaking desert with with baseball. It's always somebody hitting a ridiculous home run at the last second. But anyway, I'm not gonna go more than 50% flarity on this size of a slate. That just I don't understand. I'm just not I'm gonna match the field on flarity. He's fine. I understand he probably has the highest expected value, but what's the odds that somebody else doesn't just smash? You know what I mean? Like there's a ton of games on this slate. So I can't really get too much higher than the field. Maybe 50% is fine. I, I just, you know, 80% is what contest sim says to do. So he's going to come in higher owned than 40% because people will listen to their contest sims because they pay for them. Okay. <laughs> Whereas I do this and then I wonder why I'm not winning. You can just listen to the contest sims if you want. They are going to tell you the right thing to do. And this is just kind of, I like to influence it. I like to say, you know, you know, I had a little bit of this guy on purpose. Ryan Nelson, I'm a believer long term. It looks like a good situation from from Ballpark Pal, so I'll, I'll get there. I think it's ten percent is fine though. Four X stand is pretty aggressive. Um, Spence, I like Spence too. I wonder if we'll see. no, no more him. That's fine. Just little shots on these guys. Spence, Spears, Tyone. They could all have like you know they have upside of going six innings and not giving up a bunch of runs and getting like five or six strikeouts, maybe upside to eight. I mean, they could be optimal and I'll take some shots at was in 0.1%. So, uh, you know, play lightly. I'm, I, you, you want to jam the guys who are good. Flaherty, Crochet, Chevalier. I don't know how to pronounce his name still. It's been like two years. I'm never going to look it up. What are we going to listen to a Cleveland broadcast? Is that what that, who that is? Milwaukee now. Oh, it's a weird trade. But anyway, yeah, the uh, hmm. I, I'm fine with Savale. Well, let's let's sort it by leverage. 
Yep, crochet. I don't want to have more. Like, I don't want him to be my biggest play of the slate. So let's let's dial him back to like one in five lineups has him. Twenty percent is what one in five is. Just for us math hawks out there. Okay, so now let's sort it by. So this is leverage, polarity. Yes, Barrios. Maybe he's fine. Nelson. Yeah, sure. Bryce Miller. What's our negative leverage? Am I comfortable fading Zach Wheeler? I think that's in a bad situation, right? At Arizona. Price is up. Yeah, I guess I'm fine with it. I, you know, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be at a crazy fade, though. I'll be at like half the field. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see anything else. Robbie Ray, that, that's a fade? What are y'all doing playing so much Robbie Ray? He's a, I mean, he's a flamethrower, but he could kill you. I guess that's what it is. He's, that's a perfect GPP play. That's what you're doing. So smart. Well, being smart. Um, okay. Beyond this, what else do we have? Stacks. So, wow. The stacks are reasonable. Normally when I come over here, the stacks are out of control, but these are all fine. I, I've changed around the runs a little bit. I'll, I'll pop this in, in the discord for later. Uh, but it's mostly just like somewhere between ballpark pal. If I want to fade the team or an average, or I take, I just ignore it. So, you know, so <clears throat> That's that's where I let my ghost be in the machine. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I think you should not have <clears throat> only numbers in your model. You should have a point where you interact and say, "I believe in this guy" or whatever. You need to turn the crank. Still, if you're not turning the crank, you're not getting unique enough lineups. Just with whatever contest and method you have, you need to make your like whatever this method is is my little like differentiation my my contest sims are going to be slightly different than everybody else's now and it's going to involve more houston and more san diego and more cleveland apparently not more cleveland so the i can't even make make the sims buy into cleveland even changing so i changed the projected run totals before i run the sims somebody asked that in the um discord last time and it's basically um it's a the field exposure doesn't listen to projected runs anyway so it doesn't change much. I, I I don't know what it would change. It seems like a good question for me to ask the Sabres guys. But I, I like to do it beforehand just so we are generating lineups with this as the yeah projected uh, run totals. Okay. I don't know where that was going. Um. Yeah. So Atlanta, Houston, San Diego. That's it. I mean, the rest of them are all much lower percentages. So we're jamming them. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all I got. So I'm just going to say you're good enough. You're strong enough. And gosh darn it. Someone's got to win that money might as well be us.